So if you're a bit sensitive to worms and insects and stuff and critters, maybe turn off now. Maybe turn off now. So what we have here is some medical footage of a surgery of some worms being, some parasitic worms being pulled out of a patient's intestines, colon, etc. So this patient obviously survived, had the worms removed, no problems, everyone's happy, no worries, just medical footage. So here we have here a surgery practice where a patient was complaining of intestinal bloating and uh, we'll soon find out why. So maybe you want to turn off now if you don't like the uh, medical footage. So we have here the... Here we go. Now that's not a... Uh, that's not spaghetti, that's... You can see the worms. I think it could be a tapeworm, pinworm, fishworm, pigworm. Now people ask me, Harley, how do you get these in your body? Well, these are contracted from eating meat, fish, dairy, eggs, etc. Now it's medical fact, biological fact, that these worms must have meat or dairy or whey protein etc. to eat. These worms cannot live on plant-based material, that's why you find them in the, the cats and dogs and in today's uh, livestock that gets fed meat as well. So it's pretty amazing stuff isn't it? Now here's the questions we want to discuss down below. We have a discussion here so people get educated. We're not designed to eat that much meat. Uh, we wear fruit eaters, that's why we don't produce vitamin C, blah, blah, blah. But if you've got that much meat in your diet, in your colon, then a lot of biologists say that the worm's role is to help reduce all the toxins that the meat rotting in your intestines, in your colon, is having on your body. So the worms sort of clean up the garbage, a bit like maggots cleaning up a dead animal on the side of the road. So if you have dead animals in your colon, in your intestine, aka meat, fish, eggs, dairy, blah, 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 you have that in your colon putrefying. I look up putrescine, it's very toxic and promote colon cancer. But anyway, we'll get that in another video. So if you have all these putrescine, all these toxins and dead uh, roadkill in your stomach, then some biologists say the worms actually help clean that up so that it can have a, a beneficial effect. So it's interesting. So it looks really gross, but it could be really good for you. If you're eating a lot of meat, then who knows? Maybe having 10 pounds of meat worm in your gut is actually a good thing. So I don't know, but discuss it, share it. What do you think? Is it healthy to eat that much meat? Is it healthy to have 10 pounds of meat worm in your gut? Can you live on plant foods? Discuss down below. Thanks for watching.